Next time you're in a museum, hang out by like a Picasso or something, something really famous that everybody knows, and watch how many people walk by without looking at it. And then say to yourself, self, why do I think that everybody's gonna spend time looking at my painting, right? But as artists, what we do is we try to have as much time with our viewer as possible, which means that we have to attract their attention and we have to work really hard to keep their attention. One of those ways to do that is to pay attention to your four corners. So what do I mean by your four corners? I mean like literally the four quarters of your painting. So we have a corner here and a corner here and you might have guessed a corner here and a corner there. And what we want to do when we're making our painting is make sure that each corner looks a little bit different. It could be drastically different or very similar, but if they're exactly the same, what's going to happen is as they view here and they can tell that it's the same over here, they're going to skip this. They're not even going to know that they did this. Our brains are so overworked trying to help us out and trying to be really good to us and be like, I know the answer to that. You don't even have to look at it. I gotcha. Which means that the viewer is going to be like, uh-huh, yep, and they're going to keep going, which you don't want. So while you're painting, this is a, a work in progress that I'm doing, um, but I do think occasionally like, okay, does this corner look the same as this corner? So here I have a diagonal kind of shape, like a triangle that's being made by these two smaller triangles of rocks. Up here, it's going off, which I might change. But if I look from here to here, I can go, you know, they're both rocks, they're both water, but they're different. Let's look at an example of this not happening well. Okay, here is a painting where I could have handled this a little bit better if I had even known about it. So this is a painting of Yellowstone and I made this painting when I was in high school, which was a while ago, 25 years ago. Um, and I, I keep it, it's one of my first oil paintings. I'm, I'm proud of it, but I'm not like, hanging it on my wall. So it's here in my studio, hanging out. Um, but you know, one of the things is that the clouds are the, really the same all the way across. Because I painted it from a photo and the photo was the same all the way across, right? So now if I were to go and paint this scene, I might look at a way that I could disrupt this a bit. Is there something, oftentimes like a tree, or maybe a taller rock that we could put over here. Um, something to change up the clouds a little bit. This cloud's kind of funky over here, but you know, I claim early painting days. And um, I do have a good job of having this corner and this corner be different. And um, yeah, there's definitely some things I would change with this, but it's not a horrible painting. And, but you know, the, the four corners, the basics of this idea is to make your painting interesting and to keep it in mind. Don't sacrifice a painting you wanna make because it won't follow this rule. I mean, never sacrifice a painting you wanna make because it won't follow a rule. All the really good, good paintings we love in our history are the ones that break a rule. But be aware of it because it's often helpful. And another thing that can go along with this four corner idea is that if you have two corners that are the same, and they're usually next to each other, usually not diagonal, right? If I have two corners that are the same, I usually have a whole top that's the same or a whole side that's the same. And maybe I need something a little bit more interesting in there. Uh, maybe I need to just increase the angle, change the viewpoint up and down put something interesting in the foreground, uh, you know, just something to kind of play with a little bit more. 
So I hope that helps. If you've never heard about it, it's just called the four corners rule. Maybe there's a fancier name for it. If there is, leave me a comment below because I don't know it. But I do try to remember as I'm painting to, to kind of step back for a second and think about it and go, hmm, how's that working? Is it okay? Keep going or man, I need to change some things up. So hope that helps. Keep painting and I'll see you next time.